hear me now? Why can't I hear you? Sure and not mine, love. <laughs> the joys of uh, technology and it's great when it works and when it doesn't it's it just are we good are we good can you hear me now hello all right let me just fiddle with everything <laughs> it's still pumping and working i hear myself through my <laughs> My yeah, so I can hear you as well. You can hear yourself and you can hear you can't hear me. No. But I can hear you. Brilliant. I don't I'm getting everything through. I can call you a complete cock. Um, You're none yeah. the wiser. I don't know what to say. I can call you an arsehole. I don't know what to say. She'll suddenly fix it now and then just hear everything me shouting is, obscenities at her. I don't know me as well. Come on, you cock wumble, get it fixed. <laughs> We're gonna run out of bed. It's gonna be me chatting on my own. Could you put up with an hour of me chatting? Oh, Ooh, come! Are you there? I hear something. Are you there? No. 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 You know you're not there. I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm gonna keep recording. This could be. We this could just. your microphone. <laughs> this could be an hour right. of me just chatting to myself, just listening to Nicole try and troubleshoot not. her computer. Why can't um, you find my microphone? Because <laughs> yeah, I mean, my microphone can find my microphone. Yeah, I mean, I can hear you. You just can't hear me. You funny. I don't understand them. Because <laughs> like saying we can't find your microphone. <laughs> it's the on- it's the only thing. I don't know what to say. Do you want to try something else for a minute, just to for the sake of? Uh, you know, what, I'll keep talking. I'm going to let you sort it out. I'm going to let you work it out. Uh, where um, are the settings? <laughs> check your That's settings on Slack. Where are the settings? Uh, three dots. Three three dots on the chat on the huddle How bit. What's that? What that button do? <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. Video and mic settings. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Video and mic settings, and then pick Default. your microphone option. Yeah. No, no, it's all, your on your the right option. stuff. Oh well, why can't you hear me? Because let me. Uh, Hang on. No, it's my fault. Okay. It's my fault after all that. Um. It is. Let me shut the page. You know what? It's my fault after all that. Oh, fuck you. (laughs) You know what? I went through the same same time. You know, I've got no idea why I did that. I've got no idea. I apologise. I called you every name (laughs) under the sun recording that intro, but hopefully it'll give everyone a laugh. Um, (laughs) Oh, are we recording, are we? (laughs) Because we're recording. How awkward. Two o'clock, I hit start, and that's it, so... Uh, well, it's a little bit about after. You got three three minutes of, of us listening to you try and solve your trying sound to, issues. And trying it's... to work out a tech issue that wasn't my issue. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> How's your week been? <laughs> oh, freaking shocking. I feel really ill. <laughs> oh, br- oh, back to the norm now. Nicole's not well again. Yeah, no, but I'm at. It's like normal person sick. Like I've caught something basically, but I did. <laughs> I've got a story. <laughs> okay, let's have a story. Story time. I put my back out on Saturday night. Oh, put it out. Put um, it out where? What with in like the bins? I, well, I might as well have done. It <laughs> might. I might have felt better if I'd done that. No, I like you know when. You strain your back or whatever. God, it was so painful. Like walking was painful. Just general existing was really painful. Do you want to know how I did it? Yes, because I do. I think that's going to be the highlight of the story. <laughs> it is. It really is. Because you're not going to understand how it happened, and I don't understand how okay, it happened. Right? Go I on. Can't... Let's go for it. I was turning my bike around. <laughs> <laughs> you... Oh. Uh, I think you're the only person I know that can put their book back out, turning their bike around. I can't believe I did it. I still can't believe I did Just, it. What part of taking a shit requires 
<laughs> putting putting you back under such strain. And it, and it wasn't under such strain. That's the thing. Like it wasn't even like a you know particularly strenuous endeavor. It was. I think I just. It was, I'd, I'd moved, you know, I just adjusted my posture ever so slightly and my back went, nah, stuff that, we're not having that today. <laughs> and then that was it. It was, it, and I was like, I can't believe this has happened. And then, so I've dealt with that the last couple of days, it's been an agony. And then today I wake up and I've got no nasal passages anymore. They were fun when oh. I had them, but I don't have them anymore. <laughs> I feel like shit. So yeah. It's all happening. It's all happening and not in a good way. Yeah, stuff still going around the moment. Oh, I forgot to say, welcome to episode number um, thingy. Yeah, thingy. that one, yeah. <laughs> it's 90 this week. Is 90. it 90? Wow. Yeah. How did yeah. I forget that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. To be honest, yeah, I don't have a brain at all today. Yeah, 90 so. does tend to follow 89, so you just thought I'd have known. Yeah, but I forgot it was 89, didn't you? Yeah. I, I just You just lose. It's been a whole week. We've slept since then. Yeah, we have. Um, <laughs> it changes every week. It's just really Is there really a topic awkward. on episode 89 that we didn't talk about? Yeah, I've carried it over. From, it's not, it's not from... moved down. It's not moved down. It, it has. It, it, oh, it's not on mine. <laughs> what do you mean it's not on yours? It's not on mine. You got it on oh, 89. Um, oh, I carried the link over. Oh, God, what have I left there? Hang on. I'm <laughs> struggling a bit today. I really am. <laughs> Why won't this just open in Safari? There we go. <clears> right, there's that. So the link I put in there was originally in 18... No, that is it. That's correct. Well, I thought I thought it was this one that we've not done. No, we did that one. Did we? That was the that was the TikTok we played. Do you remember? Oh, okay, right, yeah, right. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, we did that, do I that one. I've yeah. slept since last week. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's really difficult, isn't it? It's really <laughs> difficult. Uh, yes. Yeah, so what we've got is how to annoy Europeans with just one sentence. Okay, we can do that. Um, yeah. Okay. So open up the link. Okay. Yeah, I'll open it up. Let's <clears throat> see how you do it. Uh, there's a fun little map. I'm okay. going to have to. Like, excuse me, my nose is dripping like a tap. <laughs> God, I'm sexy, and I. <laughs> How to irritate Europeans with one sentence? So apparently, yeah. in England, it is "Las Malvinas son Argentinas." Don't get it. <laughs> what a great start! Thanks for the content, Nicole. Uh, let's Google it. Let's see what it translates Where's to. Where's your content, uh, Steve? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So it means... Um, <laughs> tip, limit your search to English language results. I mean, that would help, but... Is it supposed to just annoy us because we don't speak... You know, we don't well, we don't know any other language. Yeah, we don't know any other languages because there is only one language to us. Yeah, well, let's face it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I bet, I bet we're annoying everyone who's listening to us. Oh, okay, so okay, 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 okay. I've translated it. Okay. It translates to the Falklands are Argentine. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And no one got over that yet. <laughs> it was a little while ago have. with the Falklands. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> going a bit, going up, going north up to Scotland. Apparently, if you say where in England is that, that's going to yeah. really piss off the Scottish. And I can imagine it would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're in Ireland, <laughs> people <laughs> saying Southern Ireland. <laughs> You can understand where people are coming from, though, can't you? Yeah, As you you are just island of that. But you, island and Northern Ireland you don't have a north yeah. and a south. You just have a no. north. Weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> how to annoy the Portuguese? Yeah. Do you speak Brazilian right? <laughs> <laughs> All the way around, Brazilians speak Portuguese. Yeah. Um, Spanish. God, you've got to be good at geography. Yes. Haven't you for this? Uh, I, I, well, that's why I'm starting with the easy one. 
<laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair I'll, enough. I'll leave you with all the tricky ones in a minute. Okay. <laughs> um, so obviously, France, uh, not France, Spain. So you're Latino. Obviously not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one for France. American wines are better. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? Yeah. I can't do a very good accent, <laughs> that's but you brilliant. know, I love it. I've got to sound like really angry. Like when you do a French accent, for one, you've got to sound like a man. I don't know why. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I don't know. Do you, there's going to be people who know what I mean when I say this, right? The game Broken Sword. The what? The character. Nick, there's, there's a game called Broken Sword. It's very old school. Okay. It's brilliant. And the character called nicole actually in okay. that she's french and it's the only way i can make french and french accent sound feminine in my brain is to do it in the way she would say it okay so there you go she sounds like such a hussy as well oh george hello hello george it's it's yeah <laughs> she's so happy to see george all the time except when she's not she sounds really anyway moving on <laughs> <laughs> what have we got what have we got what's oh right, hang on that was france okay uh, yeah, I've just realised they're actually written out below, so we could just read them and not. Oh, make that's it even ourselves. easier, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Why make work for ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that top one, savage. Well, asking Austrians, are you Germans? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Bulgaria still use the Russian alphabet. Do they still yeah, use the Russian? Oh, they do, don't they? Well, they do have their own alphabet. Oh, okay. Which is nothing like what ours looks like. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Veggies. Croatia. Catholic Serbs. What's Serbs? Uh, I don't know. Serbs, Serbs. We should we should probably know, but you know we're European and we don't pay attention to what's going on in the world. Well, we're not European. Well, we are European actually. I was going to say we're not <laughs> European anymore, but we are, aren't we? We are still European. I it's mean, just, so is it, is it a reference to Serbia itself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Serbia itself, around six million people identify themselves as ethnic Serbs. Oh, okay. Okay, so fair dues. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Czech Republic. Are you Eastern Europeans? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, where we're up to. Uh, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, Baltics. You're Russian, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know they must get it all the time and that's probably why it annoys them so much. Yeah. <laughs> and Hungary probably gets theirs a lot as well. Are you hungry? Yes. Are you hungry? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Go and die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> Germany, this video is not available in your country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel for you, Germany. That's that's not all right, yeah. is it? That's, that's not very nice. Greece, uh, Macedonia for Macedonians. I don't get it. Uh, well, it irritates. Ask them. Go and ask them. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, Europeans are scary when they're mad. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> Europeans are scary when they're mad. They are. Some are scary when they're not mad. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they will murder you. They will kill you, Europeans. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, oh, Italy, God. if you want to wind them up, tell them that you oh, yes. like pasta with ketchup. I've seen videos of this on TikTok. It's <laughs> absolutely this lad who's got, you know, obviously he's Italian and his grandfather is very old school Italian and he's there breaking spaghetti in front of him and <laughs> <laughs> his granddad's like literally starting to pray for him. Although one thing <laughs> one thing I've got to um <laughs> one thing I've got to agree with um is they don't they don't agree with pineapple on pizza. And I can fully back them on that. Yeah, I back them on that. That's I mean, it. I don't have overly strong views, but I don't want to eat it. I don't really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I actually also agree with ketchup on pasta is just wrong. Yeah. Oh, I suppose we're, oh, we're, we're agreeing with them. Yeah. How can we have that? 
Okay. We stan Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Their food is just perfection. All right. I don't. We don't need to freaking anglicize it with our shitty condiments. <laughs> okay. Uh, Where are we? Netherlands, but I don't really get it. Santa Claus, which we learnt. Santa Claus is learnt. is Santa Claus. Yes, we learnt that, didn't we? So how's he? So it says by saying that Santa Claus is racist. I don't know. How how's he? We racist? didn't learn about that in Potmus, did we? No, they didn't. They didn't put that on whatever article you're reading about. The the English Heritage website. Yeah. No, they... <laughs> they didn't. They didn't make reference to that. No. No. <laughs> No, I don't understand that one. Uh, no. Norway, um, way to wind them up. Ask them if they are the <laughs> the western part of Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit savage, this one, isn't it? It is. There's, some of these are, are quite savage. Yeah. I don't want to say it. No, we'll skip it then. No, we should. No, we, we, can't, we can't hide <laughs> it like that. We can't. We know what it says, but people need to know. Right. So for Poland, apparently it's going to really annoy them if you refer to Polish death camps. Okay. Yeah. Fair dues. Um, <laughs> Romania, beautiful country. I love Budapest. <laughs> that, is, that is a bit stuffish. <laughs> Do you know what? That is the kind of thing I've heard people say in taxis as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got into a taxi once with a friend. Most of the taxi drivers uh, in Plymouth are Romanian, right? And uh, my friend married a Bulgarian back in the day. And we used to get, we'd be absolutely levered, right? We'd, we'd, we'd been having our prinks and then we'd get the taxi and go to the club. And every time we'd say, she'd say, where are you from? <laughs> every time. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm from R Romania. Uh, not, not with that Italian accent. They don't. <laughs> um, oh, the hilarious thing is when I go and, on holiday and Lindsay has a couple I'm of drinks. Finished. I'm, I'm sorry, finished. but I've got, to, I've got to interject with this with the taxi driver. You ran in me, Flo. Hang on, hang on. Let me get my story right. out. It's only short, right? Okay. So we'll get in a taxi driver, uh, in a taxi driver, in a taxi in like Spain or Portugal or summer, and she'll try and have small talk with the taxi driver and not have a clue what they're on about, and then start yeah. trying to ask them where they're from. And they'll be like, yeah, I'm Portuguese. <laughs> like, oh, like, God. You're in Portugal and it's a Portuguese driver. Why are you so surprised? Like... <laughs> It's the drink. It does things to you. But yeah, my friend would always start off with where you're from and it would always be Romania and then it would always be, right? Bear in mind, these guys have just said they're from Romania. Yeah. I married a Bulgarian. Yeah. I drove through Romania. Beautiful country. Beautiful country. <laughs> and then I remember this one time, I think I've got videos of it on my phone somewhere. There's the river, I want to say the River Bega, but I'm not entirely sure. And it goes through Romania. Well, was it the River Bega? Anyway, there was a river and she was trying to say that it was from one country and he was trying to say it's not in his country it, or it's not in whatever. They <laughs> argued about the geography. I was like, look, hun, he lives there. <laughs> I think I think he knows. <laughs> Yeah. So um, it's it's like oh, it's like going on who wants to be be a millionaire and doing a phone a friend and asking your Romanian mate the question and be like, no, nah, I'm going to disagree with you there. And be yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, if if you want to believe what you want, then go ahead. But it's wrong. Yeah. As I say, I think it's the drink. The drink does funny things to you. You have conversations in taxis with the drivers that you would never have sober, don't you? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> And we got a fun topic next week, uh, with with that in mind. So oh, yeah. have we? We have, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got a really well prepped episode for next week. Genuinely, oh, okay. it's prepped and done, and and it's ready to go. So what? yeah, next week we're we're sorted for. This week, not so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, glad dear. you got stuff for future weeks and not this week. Yeah, well, we've got uh, Valentine's Day next week, haven't we? Oh, okay. That's what you you going down the old, yeah. Yeah, but we're doing it top topicopedia style. It's not all like hearts and, and hence, flowers. Hence Don't you worry. Topics. Topic. Never mind. Uh, just yeah. explaining our name yeah. as we approach our hundredth episode. Just explaining where <laughs> yeah. it comes from. Uh, yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. So the next one is uh, Serbia saying Tesla is a croat. 
I don't get it. Hey, is is Tesla in place as well, or what? What, what is a croat? I don't know. Man, so uh, is it short for Croatia? I don't know. Croatian? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's almost like it's almost like a goat. It is, isn't it? Oh yeah, a croat is a native inhabitant of Croatia. Or a oh, that was Croatian a good guess, descent. wasn't it, Nicole? Oh, and the God. South Slavic language of the Croats. Okay. Yeah, no idea. Oh, the Croats are South Slav South Slavic ethnic group native to Croatia, Bosnia, and the other one. <laughs> 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 Bollocks to it. Let's move okay. on. Um, Let's move on. Sweden. Oh gosh, you can't go around saying. No wonder they're offended. Yeah, this I mean is that's not a great be... stat to have. Is that a stat? I'm gonna have to Google know. that now. Oh, oh, well, that's gonna that... look... let let me open incognito mode before I Google if that's the true stat. Oh god. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna put this out there for Sweden. This is savage. Rape capital of the world is is how to piss them off. Now, uh, yeah, as you say, that that must come from something, mustn't it? Globally. The highest reported rate per 100,000 people was documented in Botswana. Well, that isn't... No. That isn't... Oh, but we are going for Europe, aren't we? Yes. Uh, so in the list, you've got Botswana, Lesotho, South Africa, Bermuda and Sweden. Oh, my God. <laughs> I never would have thought it, would you? Well, I'm not well up on my... Well, no, my but rape stats. Uh, I don't know much about Sweden, but I feel I know a little more now. <laughs> so Sweden, um, I mean, it's quite significantly behind Botswana, which was 92.93 per 100,000. Okay. For Sweden's at 63.54 per 100,000. Okay. And where it UK is at 27.29 per 100,000. Right. So we've got half as many. Okay. Per hundred thousand. That doesn't Gosh. seem too bad, does it? I mean, we're behind. Uh, well, I mean, it's not good. Yeah, is I mean, it? But yeah, US I, is similar I, as well. But I mean, it's by comparison. I mean, it even is, Australia's higher at twenty eight point six. Do you know what? I think the better way of putting it is not. It's not too bad, is it? It's it's that Sweden is not too good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that is weird. You know what? You've got to bear in mind. These stats are going to go off uh, reports. Yes. So even the, the ones at the bottom, I'm not convinced are actually bottom. I think okay. people just don't report it. I agree. And, and that does happen a lot in whatever country you're in. For example, maybe Sweden, uh, if, maybe so, Sweden are be people are better at reporting. Yeah, better at reporting crime. Because uh, like, at the bottom of the list, you've got Egypt at 0.11, Azerbaijan mm. at 0.17. Mozambique yeah. at 0.19, Armenia at 0.36. Not Probably saying because it's legal in all <laughs> these countries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they just call it marriage? <laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. That's really that's not okay, is it? <laughs> I'm not very well. <laughs> oh, no, I've just cancelled her some of that. <laughs> Oh my god, right. <laughs> not being serious, sorry. It's not... Anyone who's, anyone who's upset, I'm not being serious. We just. Yeah, obviously, it's a, it's a serious crime, and I think all countries should be taken seriously, but yeah. <laughs> sorry, you've come. <laughs> this is making me chest hurt. <laughs> Right. Uh, okay. So, so we've now learned how I don't to. Think we can top that. How to annoy Europeans and the rest of the world all in one go. Yes. So... Exactly. <laughs> why? Why stop at Europeans? I am. <laughs> why not just piss everyone off? Uh, oh yeah, and you can piss Turkey uh, off by asking, "Can you translate this Arabic sentence?" They might be able to do it. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey is actually 100 on the list at 1.51 1. 
Yeah. And, or you could go to Switzerland. This is the one that you skipped there. And, you go to oh, Switzerland and tell them that Toblerone is not the best. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> Belgian chocolate is not the best. Sorry, yeah. I, I, I read Belgian chocolate yeah. wrong. <laughs> no, is the best, is the best. I read the whole thing wrong, but, you know. <laughs> not tell them that Toblerone sucks and watch them set bears on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh, there's no stereotyping going on here, is there? <laughs> we don't do that, do we? We've done this before, actually. To be fair, no, it's all it's it's not serious. It's just for fun. We love all Europeans and non-Europeans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> except Scotland. You making exceptions? Yeah, except Scotland. We don't love them. Okay. Right. Maybe Wales. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Right, okay, moving on. I don't know how we move on from this, in all honesty. I don't know. We've, we've not got any topics lined up, but there has... Have we? No? No. We... We... <laughs> oh, God. There's been a lot of news this week. I can't even... Oh, my gosh. Right, tell me about the news, because I haven't seen you any haven't news. You haven't seen any news. Um, Gosh, l loads of celebrities are, are popping their... Are we going to war yet? Uh, hang on. Loads of celebrities okay. are popping their clogs at the moment, so I can't keep up with that. Oh, are they? Yeah, loads and loads and loads of them. Who's gone now? Who's, I, I just said I can't keep up with it. There's too many. Oh, let's oh, have okay. a look. Celebrity deaths this week. Deaths. This week. Right. And why is it coming up with 2023? No, wait... 2024, thank you. Um, oh, man, my Googling skills aren't up to par today. Uh, oh, yeah, what's his... Um, oh, gosh, what's his name? Derek Draper died. Who? Was that last Who? week? Uh, Kate Garraway's Who? husband. Oh, no. Yeah. Cause oh, he, he was very poorly, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, from COVID. Um, oh, how sad. Yeah, I've not got these in just this week, but uh, which, I'm trying to work out which were this week and which weren't this week. God, you know, yeah. I can't keep... Someone the other day had mentioned Tina Turner on something, and I was like, I can't remember if she's still alive or not. And it's getting to that point where, like, that many people have died, you can't keep up. Do you know what? I forget stuff like that all the time yeah. and then it's like you re-find out someone's died and it's it's a shock all over yeah. again isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, just just for reference i did google it dina tenner did die last year yeah well uh, to be fair uh, yeah but then okay so the breaking news from yesterday it should be the day before yesterday if you're listening on release day yeah um the king's got cancer Oh, yes, of course, I did see that, yes. So is he going to be next? I mean, they've, let's hope not. They've not disclosed what kind of cancer. They haven't, no. Uh, but on the I flip mean, side, think... you really enjoyed doing the Queen special. Yes. So I'm sure you, you've got the King's special all planned out and ready to go anyway. Oh, I mean, he's only been the King for half a minute. I mean... <laughs> I'm sure we can throw something together for him. I'm sure we can. <laughs> don't but tell listen, me, this is, don't don't tell me be... this is going to be like the equivalent of last year where we changed like Prime Minister every two minutes. It's like, this year we're just going to change the monarchy every two minutes. Oh, no. Let, right, let, let's hope he's going to be all right. Let's hope they've caught it, you know, earlier than not. I, I think, you know, kudos to him as well for being so open about it because, you know, he doesn't have to. That is his personal medical stuff and you know throughout history it has been kept very private as they have the right to do so um so it's quite nice that he's been so open about it i think i think that's what he wanted to do didn't he, he wanted to yes to kind of make the royal family a bit more open and the stuff so yeah and you can see that he is actually a human being and he is <laughs> prone to the same afflictions that all of us are so. i know i thought i thought the royal family were invincible until a couple of years yeah, ago there you go well um, and then they all started dying yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> up, until, up on that point i thought you know what it's a, you know you live forever uh yeah you'd think you'd <laughs> think but uh yeah poor charlie boy well hopefully <laughs> We wish him the best, and 
yeah, hope, uh, hopefully it, it's perfectly treatable. I mean, the, the one other one who's been in hospital is Kate, isn't it? Kate? Kate Middleton's been in hospital. Kate has Middleton, she, you she... know. She, she'd she been in hospital for a bit. Yeah, I don't know if she still is. I've got a feeling she might be out now, but uh, they didn't disclose why, which, again, is very much her prerogative. But, uh, yeah, she'd been in the hospital for a little while, I think. All right. Oh, okay. So some of the royal families are closing stuff and the rest aren't. Yeah. <laughs> Fair dues. We love a united stance. Exactly. Sorry, I'm trying to Google it, but I can't type. <laughs> I can't <laughs> type. I've just forgotten how to type. Let's have a look. Oh, Jesus Christ. The first thing that comes up is <laughs> Palace denies reports that Kate Middleton was in a coma after abdominal surgery. Oh, she had abdominal surgery. Oh, I wonder if she had what I had. Oh, maybe. You never know. Well, she might not. She might just have had her, um, her appendix out or her um, gallbladder out. I've had my gallbladder out as well, actually. Okay. Lovely. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Abdominal surgery. Fun time. So what else has been going on in the news then? Or is, is, is that basically it? Um, We're going to war yet? I've heard stuff about war with Russia. No, we're not at war. We've forgotten all about it now. Yeah. Oh, have we? Yeah. Are we over it? We're not going we've to got, war We've got European farmers campaigning. Oh, and, and now our farmers want to campaign as well. Campaigning for what? what what's going on? Uh, across Spain, farmers have been protesting EU regulations and demanding more people, uh, more help from their government. Oh, okay. So they're just they're just not happy. They're unhappy chappies. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> we we just became the Chuckle Brothers then, didn't we? <laughs> to me, to you, <laughs> to me. Who's Timmy? Yeah, who is Timmy? You tell me. Who is Timmy? To me, um, to you. Oh, according to Rishi Sunak, the king's cancer was caught early, so that might be a good sign then. Yeah, that should be a good sign. Oh well, we do we do wish him the best. Get well soon, I mean, Charlie. But enjoy, you know, enjoy listening to the podcast while you recover. It's, I think it's easy to forget that he did, he is in his seventies, so he's no spring chicken. To be polite, um, it's easy to forget. I think that his mum was so old; she did live such a long time. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! I can't even tell you how shite I feel today. <laughs> I feel so I, ill. Should we do a Buzzfeed or something yeah, else? There's or... a Buzzfeed over. I'll let you choose one. Make sure it's really ridiculous. I want to laugh. Uh, okay. It's so rubbish. I need cheering up. Okay, let's go for this one. The first one that has popped up today. We are going to do. Which vegetable am I? <laughs> 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 um okay the rules are simple if there isn't an option for being in a wheelchair at the end of it i don't even want this <laughs> um all you have to do is pick the answer that suits best and i'll be revealed so what is your favorite type of weather all right so with the options are cold but dry and it's got like a really nice autumnal scene doesn't look that dry but okay <laughs> it looks a bit wet it, foot, does, it does look a bit right. wet you, you're, uh, you're picking at, at the, the holes here. Sorry. <laughs> well, we've got to make this last, don't we? <laughs> so we've got snow, very pretty snow scene. Uh, we've got stormy. We've got the hotter the better, sunshine, or cold and rainy. Hot oh, the better, know. easy. Right, for me it's sunshine, okay. just sunshine. I don't well, yeah, really well, it could be like hot. minus two outside. Yeah, but that's fine. As long as it, that's, I don't mind it cold. But to be fair, they have said cold and dry, and I feel like, I feel like it's not that cold. I feel like it would be pleasantly warm. <laughs> I, think right? I think you're underestimating the uh, the options in this buzz quiz. I don't want it that hot. How are you spending I don't want it your hot. weekend? Partying, duh. Something crafty. Getting all my chores done. Feeling organised. Hanging out with different friends. Relax. Spend time myself. Maybe go for a nice walk. Learn something new. I feel really like 
like I've been done out of some pictures here because they've been, they've not got any. Yeah, they've not bothered to put pictures on that one, have they? No, they didn't want to for this one. Um, ew, I don't know. This weekend, what am I doing this weekend? I'm going to say partying because I am actually going to have some drinks with friends this weekend. Oh, I don't excellent. know. I need to be better by that, though. We all need to pray to the sickness gods that I'm better. <laughs> Otherwise, nothing's happening. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to say partying, because that's not what I typically do. I would probably... Hanging out with different friends. It's either friends or chores, so I'm just going with friends. Cause that's <laughs> it's a chores. One, isn't it? Mm. Well, I, yeah, that tends to be the way the weekends go. Okay, the next one. Uh, how would your friends describe you? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky and quite opinionated, laid back, super friendly, outgoing, creative, shy and a little reserved, curious, a good listener, or social butterfly, but quite flighty. You're that first one. <laughs> and you think? <laughs> I think yeah. <laughs> it's got me all over, hasn't it? It has. It has. Which one would you put me down as? Because uh, I, I feel like we can't choose this for ourselves. Okay. Um, social butterfly, but quite flighty. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> How do you? I, I was when you read that out, I was like, "Yeah, that's me." But I don't think you'd pick that for me. <laughs> but you have. <laughs> what do you think I was going to go for? I don't know. I don't know. Fair dues. I don't actually know, but yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> okay, so what would you say is your worst trait? My okay. worst trait. I yeah. Don't have so any... we have. Of course not. Of no, course I'm not. Perfect. Right, well, let's see if that's in the list, shall we? Okay, yeah, yeah, obviously it needs to be in the list, I'm sorry. Uh, I try and do too much. Okay. I can get way too (laughs) overexcited. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Filthy mind, (laughs) and I... (laughs) I have a superiority (laughs) complex at times. (laughs) I like to spend most of my time alone. I prioritise others over myself too much. I'm constantly changing my mind on things. Okay, are we answering this for each other again? No. Oh, this okay. Is asking us what we think okay. our favourite. <laughs> oh my God. What so, what it? do you think your favourite trait is? My worst trait. Your favourite <laughs> trait. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't say I prioritise others over myself too much Um, some of these are so humble braggy I swear (laughs) I can get I can get a bit excited Uh, (laughs) (laughs) maybe that's it okay I'll go for that right we'll go with that (laughs) okay I'm gonna say See, as much as I just took the piss out of it for being humble braggy, I've definitely in the past over prioritised other people when Okay. I definitely pull the, have pull the other I, one. But right, yeah. I feel on. like no, I feel like I'm a lot better with that now. I'm a lot better at saying no. Okay. I've just so, with these questions so far, I've completely forgotten what the question what we're trying to find out here, and it's find out which vegetable you are. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is really important. <laughs> I don't want to get this stuff like... wrong, right? <laughs> this has got to be accurate. I need to know, right? Uh I just don't want the wheelchair option, let's be honest. Um, if they say I've got cerebral palsy, I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, so let's go with changing my mind. Okay. Or that I like to spend time on. <laughs> <laughs> no, changing my mind. <laughs> I just made my own point. I just made my own point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, here's a good one for you. Oh, is it? Where are you most likely to meet the next person you'll date? Okay. So, number one, through mutual friends. Number two, in class or while studying. (laughs) Online, through a dating app. Uh, On a night out, at an event or party, or I'll probably go back to my ex. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm not doing that last one. Uh, I'm probably, let's be honest, online. I don't get out much. I think, yeah, I'm the same. Online. I, you can also kind of, you can convince people to like you long enough to get to know you a little bit. 
I quite like that. I, I kind of I kind of trick people into into, into you, you say this like you're like you're single. I love it. I trick people into liking me. <laughs> Back in my dating days, yeah, I used Back to. Back in your heyday, I, I yeah, quite the thing cause, is because you can get all the smooth moves out. But you can before so you've even people, met them, and then yeah. But so many people these days are like, I don't want to chat. I just want to meet up, and I just think for one. Did your mother never teach you stranger danger? She did me. I'm not just yeah. meeting up with you. <laughs> not doing it. Um, but I like, I like the fact that you can sort of get to know someone at a bit of a distance first and get that gauge for whether you even want to meet up with them. That's first. true. I like that. I yeah. really like that. So, yes. Which okay, these... so... Oh, go yeah. on. I'll let you no, read you it. go it's on. Fine. Okay. No, you, you okay. Can start, you can finish. You can have it. It's Which... fine. It's fine. It's all right. I'm not going to be offended. It's all right. Which of these colours do you like best? Red, purple, yellow, yeah. brown, orange, or green? Yo, you just said purple. yeah. Purple. Yeah, I was going to say purple. No, well, you can have it as well. I'll share. Okay. We're going to end up with the same answer. <laughs> no, no, no. We haven't at all. Do you like to eat vegetables? Um... Yes. Where's the answer for yes? Well, there's, <laughs> there's, 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 there's six. There's six. So we got nope ew i eat them because i need to they're okay i like to eat some of them i can be quite picky yep especially if it adds more flavor to whatever i'm cooking i like to eat my veggies they're underrated at times or i would only eat vegetables eat if i could which you can by the way there's no law against yeah. it <laughs> no one's stopping you <laughs> so uh, i, I mean, I mean we're say... inside, it, it is asking what vegetable you be you're gonna sit there and just eat you, you, you know everyone you so, know you got to think about, well, you can't think about this tactically, but I, I do wonder if you say you don't like vegetables, if it puts you more in the Brussels sprout option. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to say, I don't know whether to go for number, uh, the, the one where it says, yep, especially if it adds more flavour to whatever I'm cooking, or if I want to say I like to eat my veggies, they're underrated. I'm going to say under, they're, I like to eat them, they're underrated. I'm saying uh, I like to eat some, but I can be quite picky. That's fair. Okay. okay. Oh, which vegetable do you enjoy oh. the most? Potato, oh. uh, broccoli. Oh. Why did I say it like that? Uh, aubergine, sweet corn, onion, and parsnip. Are you trying to piss off bloody uh, Ireland now? Yeah. <laughs> piss off one uh, Why is aubergine is in there? Because it's kind of like the odd one out. How? I don't, it's only put in there because it's innuendo. It's not no, in there for not. any other reason. Cause it is. It's lovely. Lots of people eat aubergine. What are you about? Yeah, oh, you, I you, love aubergine. Yeah, you love eating a good, a good oh, aubergine. You're so naughty. That is so naughty. I'm look, I'm very vulnerable at the moment. I'm not very well. I don't I don't need you preying on me with your freaking <laughs> innuendos at this time. <laughs> Say, saying that, I suppose a sweet corn also is a possibility. I mean, it's ribbed for her pleasure, isn't it? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm actually crying now. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm, choose. Go on, go on, go on, go on. I'm gonna choose onions because they've got the most flavour and they're quite nice. Um, they're nice when like they're, they're fresh and crispy, and they're also nice when they're fried. Yes, um, they give everything a bit of flavour. I just hate cutting them, but. I really, really love onions. I love them raw in a salad or in a sandwich. I love them fried. I like I like them cooked. But for so many years, they upset my tummy really badly and I can't get over it. It's like a negative association I have. I actually very, very rarely cook with onions now. So uh, I'm going to go with broccoli. I love broccoli. Oh, okay, fair Ten dues. Tender stem so, especially. Some, someone's got to pick it. Oh, it's amazing. I love broccoli. How open are you to change? Do you embrace it as much as you can? think it can be scary but you know you'll it'll always work out for the best how you do you know it's always going to work out for the best how do you know <laughs> that do you know that what a load of rubbish uh, <laughs> sorry the other option is i don't think change is at all that necessary i like things as they are okay. uh, as long as it benefits me i'll accept it i try and avoid it unless i feel supported i think a little change here and there is healthy i agree with that last one for me i don't like change but i know that things have to change things are evolving all the time and we have to learn to live with it because you can't avoid it it's it's inevitable that things will change okay well you know me and i don't think about anyone else but myself so okay. i'm gonna go with as long as it benefits me i'll accept it fair enough fair enough <laughs> <laughs> 
what's your sense of style okay you should see me right now I'm, just, literally, I'm, I'm wearing a sweatshirt that just, i've worn for about four days you should see <laughs> me every day just wearing the same crap it's it is the top option i only wear what i'm comfortable in I don't, I don't, I don't get dressed to please other people. Well, I do get dressed to please other people because if it was my choice, I wouldn't wear anything. So <laughs> I am pleasing other people by actually bothering to get dressed. So, um, yeah. I hate being naked. Like, I really hate oh, it. Oh, I much prefer being naked. I hate wearing clothes. Love wearing clothes. See, I'm one of those people who just loves feeling cozy and warm and like soft, comfortable things. I, I do like, love I like being things, warm, but... but I also like to not have to wear clothes be warm fair enough <laughs> um so okay so we've got i only wear what i'm comfortable in i love to upcycle all my clothes to make them into my own style right i don't don't think that's either of us no uh, it's kind of a random jumble of different things that i like to wear i like to keep it classy and put together <laughs> yeah not me i tend to <laughs> I tend to wear a lot of the same things, but I'll occasionally switch it up. And whatever is trending, I'm there. I think it is a bit of a jumble, but it's not like a jumble all at once. I just don't think I have a style. I think I like elements of lots of different styles, but I it, I don't think I don't look put together, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it looks random and weird, I hope. <laughs> but like one day I might dress like... I don't know, like borderline edgy, and then the next day I'll be in like sweatpants and like sl slobbing out. I yeah, it just it's totally different all the time. So I'm gonna go with a random jumble. Don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going for? Just just yeah, just what I'm comfortable in. Comfort. Okay. Go on then. You read the next. Uh, one. What type of person are you at a party? The one who decides to stay at home. The one having a deep chat in the corner. The one who seems to know everyone there, the life of the party, the one making new friends and leaving with plans for the next few months, or the designated <laughs> driver. I feel like I, I make new friends, make plans for the next few months, but actually, like we never speak to each other again when we're sober. Yeah, <laughs> like, I feel like that's how it goes. Like you make these these friends for life, and you you really feel like these are your these are your tribe. Like you've you've met your clan. Like you finally belong, and then <laughs> you, you wake up the next morning. No one will talk to one another. It is so funny. I don't know if it's that one or having a deep chat in the corner. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm like kind of that as well. thinking that. I mean, so. <sighs> Because I drive, I, feel like, I tend to I feel like, be the designated uh, driver. But I kind of okay. wouldn't bother going to a party if I was no one exactly. going to drive. I'd try and make exactly. an option. But I'd be in the kitchen just getting pissed. <laughs> just, so just to be honest. <laughs> you'd the, be the quiet yeah, one. Yeah, so it would be the one having a deep chat in the corner while getting very pissed you, in the kitchen. Yeah, you're having a deep chat with the vodka. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like, that's, that's what I'd be doing. I'm just honest. I'm very social when I've when I've had a drink, but I don't know. I can be quite social when one. I've had a drink, but but I feel like that's kind of like the charm of Nicole. If you if you like things surface level, then and, and you're a bit scared of deeper conversations, then you're not going to get on. Does this well mean we are we are we going to have to do a, a podcast where you're pissed just? <laughs> just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, we've done it before. I feel. I feel like you know. I've been a bit leather. We always laugh too much when I've had a drink. <laughs> yeah, but that could be any episode. We do laugh a lot. Um, we do. We do, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, I think we should move on. Yeah. Have you picked one? Yeah, you did pick one. We picked the same one. What am I on about? Well, okay, deep chat finally. in the corner. Yeah. Um, yeah. You with the vodka, yeah. me with <laughs> any vaguely willing participant yeah. is too polite to excuse themselves mm. yeah uh finally pick a hobby to enjoy have we not just had this oh no we have the weekend hobby okay so you've got six options all with pictures this time lucky us so you can choose reading you can choose baking you can choose crochet you can choose working out you can choose volunteering or you can choose watching movies i don't understand what this has got to do with the vegetable but i'm sure we'll but what has any of it got to do with the vegetables? Do you? Like, really? It's going to be watching, watching a movie. You're, you're just... Yeah, I yeah, thought you were going to do that, yeah. I... Oh, this is tough. It's tough. 
I quite like reading. Working out can get in the bin. Volunteering can get in the bin. I'm too selfish for that. <laughs> well, no, I don't mind volunteering for some things, but like, yeah, for the most part, I've got like, this is my free time. I want to like unwind a little bit. So I'm thinking, uh, baking's too stressful. Don't care what anyone says. That is stressful. I think reading, yeah. It's got, it's either reading or watching movies. I know how to crochet. I don't really like it. So. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. What did you get? What did you get? What did you get? No, what did you no, get? No, you're going first. No, you Go got what, what did you get? I got a potato. <laughs> <laughs> you're everyone's favourite. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yep. You're versatile enough to fit in with anyone and make everyone feel comfortable when they meet you, even strangers. You're warm, friendly, and a reliable friend. You're also not afraid of change and growth, and that's very admirable indeed. Oh, do you know what? I thought it was going to be really mean, but actually I quite like that. That was quite nice, wasn't it? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, go on then. What did you get, Stu? I... You got a Brussels sprout, didn't you? <laughs> no, Are you no, a Brussels sprout? No. Broccoli? <laughs> no. You're an eggplant. I am. I'm aubergine. You're a freaking aubergine. <laughs> You're the life of the party. You're a little bit <laughs> cheeky and love to make people laugh. You can sometimes boost your own ego a little too much and be on the judgmental side, but your loved ones know that you don't mean any harm and think you're a lot of fun. I bet they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, at least you didn't get the call on the car bus <laughs> Amazing. Oh, God. oh dear this was way funnier than i had anticipated actually <laughs> i didn't know how much i needed to know what vegetables we were oh what people quite a few people in the comments that have got parsnip oh really yeah in fact did no one else no one else has got aubergine that i can see oh, oh someone's sweet corn ribbed for her pleasure yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, if they ever make like an advert on the tv for that i will expect royalties for starters yeah. but <laughs> yeah yeah no one in the comments has put aubergine so there you oh, go wow I'm oh so you're original i'm original yeah am i original yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> am i sexual yeah right <laughs> that's strong honestly right oh no i haven't I haven't prepared for this prepared for this what moment. what have we not prepared for i feel like you're gonna move this on and there's only one place that can go oh okay well unless you've got something else we can fill a few minutes with we've got a few minutes i don't but <laughs> yeah. you should definitely pick something yeah <laughs> i should definitely pick something yeah oh yeah. man um well, we've got a few minutes. You can do us another quiz if you like. If you, want, <laughs> you, you, you fancy another one of them? You sure? You want to put yourself well, through maybe, that? Maybe we need to know what other type of food we are to go with our potatoes and... Hang on, hang uh, on, hang on. We can do this one together. If you think you're an expert okay. in Naughty's movies... I don't. Okay. I want you to take this quotes quiz. But let's see how many we get, okay? okay. Fish are friends, not... Do you need the answers or do you know that? Wait, I feel like I know this. Fish are friends, not... Food. Well done. I knew <laughs> that one. Finding Nemo, 2003. Ah, uh, that's from Summon, yeah. Ask me if I like cheese. Yes, I do. My favourite's Gouda. Do they? You don't know. No. <laughs> the options are The Princess Diaries, Cinderella Stories... She's the man or wild child? No clue. Do you want to have a guess? No. It ain't gonna slide down easy if it ain't cheesy. I've got no idea. <laughs> uh, I don't no. think it'd be in Cinderella story. I don't know. I'm gonna Might go be. with she's the man. Do you think? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it could be any of those. I honestly don't okay. know. I'm going with she's the man. Oh, I was right. She's the man. You knew that, well, really. Well, I didn't. I did not know. <laughs> I yeah. did not it's your know that. Film, isn't it? I could just imagine though someone having an argument about cheese. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I could picture it. 
Uh, um, they left without me. They do this every either Christmas season, birthday, or year. Christmas? No, it's it year. Then? I say it's oh. 2002. Oh. Uh, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. So that's either Shrek, Shrek 2, Ice Age, or Ratatouille. And I'm in the morning. In the morning, I'm making waffles. I don't know. Ratatouille, I guess. Um, No, it's Shrek, Shrek, the original Uh, Shrek, 2001. I think that movie is quite highly overrated. (laughs) Not a fan. That's why your hair is so big. It's full of... Secrets! Come on, what film's it from? Mean Girls. Hey, well done. Yay. What? Like it's hard? Oh, yeah, no, I do know it. Oh, you know it? Legally Blonde, yeah. Okay. And what context is that in? (laughs) Uh, So she passed his... uh, So she's, you know, the whole point of it is that she's a bimbo uh, and she wants to go to law school at Harvard. So, like, you know, one of the best. uh, To convince her boyfriend who's just broken up with her because he says he needs to be someone more serious. uh, That... You know, anyway, so she has to pass uh, an exam to get in. And when she goes to Harvard, which she passes it um, really well, she goes to Harvard, bumps into him for the first time. Uh, and they're talking about the exam that she took. And he was like, you know, how, how did you pass? And she was like, what, like it's hard? <laughs> <laughs> and then it turns out towards the end of the film that he hadn't done very well on that exam and his his daddy had to pull a few strings to get him in. <laughs> and she just did it all on her own. So, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Uh, where we're up to next one is, I believe what doesn't kill you simply makes you... You got stronger, wiser, stranger, or weaker. Well, I mean, the phrase is stronger, but I don't know. Are you going stronger? Yes. Wrong. It's stranger. I believe what doesn't kill you makes you stranger. The Dark Knight. Don't know. Okay. Yeah. Anyone can see I'm a stuffed olive. Does it ring any bells? No. <laughs> We've got Angus no. Thongs and Perfect Snogging, Fired Up, Confessions of a Teen Teenage Drama Queen, or Geek Charming. Don't know. Not a clue. Go on, what, what should we go with? I don't think I've seen any of them. Close your eyes and point at the screen. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen? No, it's Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Well, there you go. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> maybe it means some, maybe they took one of these quizzes. Yeah, probably. Uh, parting your something is not a miracle. Is it hair, soup, water, or plate? Surely it's got to be well, hair. hair sense, yeah, but I don't know. No, it's soup. Bruce Almighty. Oh, he parts his soup. Oh yeah, what film. a good film that is. Yeah, I'm so good. We forgot about it. <laughs> Um, are you challenging me to a walk-off? Is that Duplex, Hot Rod, Anchorman or Zoolander? No, a clue. Go on, have a guess. No, I don't have a clue. Let's go Hot Rod. No, it's Zoolander. There okay, you go. We're not very good at films. We're not very good at this. Sorry. To me, you are a mess, wonderful, perfect or exhausting. What are you thinking? Exhausting. Exhausting. No, it's Why perfect. Not? Love actually. He had it on the board uh, oh. when he was at a door, Kieran Knightley's door. Uh, and her husband didn't even bother going, Oh, who's at the door? You know, I'm going to come and in. I know. Carol oh, singers. Carol, yeah. Carol singers. Yeah, okay. Of course it is, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, pull the other one. Uh, you're like my own personal brand of heroin. Oh, what are the options? Because I know this. Oh, go, go on. Give me an inkling first. No, I don't know. Queen of the Damned. Step up, Twilight or Castaway? Twilight. You are correct. Twilight, 2008. Florals for spring something. You got fantastic, groundbreaking, boring, or you're fired? Did I? Florals for spring? You're fired? No, it's groundbreaking. Devil (laughs) wears Prada. (laughs) Oh, okay. 
I've led a common life. There are no monuments dedicated to me, and my name will soon be forgotten. Is it the notebook, P.S. I love you, about a boy, or the wedding date? Uh, say again. I've led a common life. There are no monuments dedicated to me, and my name will soon be forgotten. Well, that sounds a bit deep. What was the what were the options? <laughs> the, the notebook. P.S. I love you. About a boy or the wedding date? I don't think it's the notebook, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's about a boy. I don't think it is either. So, what were the other two? P.S. I love you or wedding date? Try P.S. I love you. Oh, it was the notebook. Are you joking? <laughs> I've seen that. That's the one I've actually seen a few times. <laughs> oh dear! Jesus. I will look for you. I will find you, and I will either hurt you, destroy you, kill you, or end you. Destroy. You. I think it's destroy you. It's not. It's kill you. Taken. Two thousand eight. Typical, isn't it? You wait twenty years for a dad, and then three come along at once. Is it thirteen? Going on thirty. Princess Diaries two. What a girl wants, or Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Correct. Yes, I we... actually didn't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be pleased to know we scored better than 9% of all of the quiz takers. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> With 6 out of 16, correct. I don't know what they expected. I'm a potato. And <laughs> you're a freaking eggplant. <laughs> we weren't ever going to do well. The odds were stacked against us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do we have a winner okay. for meme of the week? Because I know my we, son managed to break the website halfway through the week. Yeah, I don't like. I, you asked me to have a look at it, and I really don't know why it wasn't there because the pictures were still there. So how weird on the back end. So I don't know why it's not displaying. Hopefully, it won't affect this week's. Uh, but you did win. Hey. Just, only just. Uh, but yes, you did. Uh, so have you got a meme for us this week? Yeah, too? I've not put a lot of thought into this one, but this is this is just a cartoon strip that I saw on Facebook the other day and I thought, I'm I'm going to go with this. Um, okay. It's not a rude one for a change, just to put it out there. I was going to go with a rude one, but I thought, you know what, I'll I'll hang fire this week. Okay. I don't want to just get the the, the wins all the time just because I go for the smutty stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah. So this one, it's a guy looking out the window and he goes, and there's like a, a hurricane outside and he says, Gar darling, get my cane. We need to go. And then... She brings over this cane and he goes, not this one, and goes, I need my hurry cane. Ah! <laughs> and then the it shows him dead because his house got destroyed. That's terrible. At least he ended on a joke. It did. It did. That's terrible, but yeah. Okay, so for mine, I've got, I'll send it to you so you can have a look. But do you remember Rainbow, the TV show? Yes. <laughs> do you remember Bungle? Yeah. <laughs> so you got a picture of Bungle and next to it you got this tattered out armchair and it just says, yeah, another fine actor ruined by drink and drugs. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, it go kind vote. of does look like Bungle though. Go vote now, online. Hopefully it's working. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be working, it'd be working, it'd be all good. Uh, go, on, go on then, give us your jokes. Oh shit! Yeah, we better have some. Hang um, on, let me open the jokes. You go first. You go first. Uh, okay, what do women and noodles have in common? Don't know. Both wiggle when you eat them. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Do you want another? Well, yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's another one in common. Uh, what do your mum's tits and the son have in common? I don't know. You shouldn't stare us either. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I have one that's a riddle. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you the answer to it. Okay. But I do want to, because I want to see if any of our listeners guess the answer to it. And then the other one is a very, very long joke, okay? Okay. So the riddle is, there are 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? Oh, I saw this on TikTok, but I didn't know the answer. Okay. I do so, know the answer. Someone let me know the answer, otherwise I'm going to have to <laughs> murder someone. Let us know. Wikipedia.online or any of our socials. Let us know if you know the answer to that, and we will reveal it next week, regardless. Um, okay, so the joke. It's a very long one. Okay. So a son says to his dad, Dad, 
I'm in love. And the, fa- and the father says, that's amazing, son. Who is she? And the son responds saying, it's the neighbour's daughter, Michelle. And the father, you know, looks a bit solemn and he replies, oh, I, w- I wish you hadn't said that, son. This isn't easy to say and, and you can't breathe the word of this to your mother. But I'm sorry to tell you, she's your sister. Oh, no. So, yeah, he's obviously very disappointed, but, you know, he doesn't say anything and he goes away and he comes back, you know, sometime later and he goes back to his father and says, Dad, Dad, I'm in love. And, and, and the dad says, that's fantastic, son. Who is she? And the son replies, it's the other neighbour's daughter, Tanya. And the father, again, he, he looks a bit solemn and he says, oh, I'm really sorry. I, but, you know, obviously don't tell your mother, but she's also your sister. <laughs> So he goes away. And anyway, this happens a few more times. Okay. Right. And, and, and eventually the son becomes quite frustrated and he goes to his mother and he tells her everything that's happened. And the mother replies, don't you worry, son, you can date whoever you want. And the son's confused and, and wonders how this is possible. And she says, uh, he's not your father. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> There's no keeping it in the family there. Um, (laughs) Anyway, thank you so much for listening once again. Sorry it wasn't the most put together episode ever, but next week is. So do do stick around for that one. It's going to be a fun one for Valentine's Day. Not too serious at all. Uh, Lots planned. Uh, so yes, head over to topicopedia.online. Don't forget to vote for your favourite meme of the week. I mean, if the pictures aren't showing, just just remember what, what we described. <laughs> <laughs> just just go off what you think sounded yeah. good. Uh, and, and, and vote anyway. Uh, but I'm hoping it will be fine. Also, you can contact us on uh, via our sexy feedback form and any of our socials. We look forward to seeing you next week. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye.